Hey guys, welcome all. Today we will learn how to install SQL 2019 Developer Edition in our Windows system. So for this video, I'm using Windows 10 machine for installing the SQL. And we are using the custom uh, mode to install Developer Edition of SQL 2019. Custom mode will help us to uh, log in with Windows authentication as well as SQL Server authentication. So let's start. We directly came into our browser, so and uh, there is a link to download. I will put this link in the description. You can directly copy paste from there and directly visit this site. So we are downloading the developer edition 2019. This is a free edition we can use. Directly click on it. We have these options. We have basic option which is good for beginners and custom option uh, which is good for multi mixed mode login authentication and download media we can download the sql server package now and we'll install it later then you can use download media but we are using custom media uh, we just have to select the target location path for target location path you can customize your location or we can go with the default so it is downloading the package install package then we can click on the installation once the installation is clicked, we can click on new installation because we are downloading the new SQL Server 2019 server. So we can click on new server installation. Once click on it, it will open up some step by step process. We are using the developer edition. So by default, it is selected. We can then click on next and we have to accept the license and then click next. It will download. So directly click on next it will scan for the process it will take a little bit time for the while downloading so scan is completed now then click on next here we have to select the services that we require we can click on database engine services because I require that and then uh, we can scroll down and then click on full text and semantic data quality services and analysis services so these are required for uh, my system required I require these services integration services I can also check you can download based on your requirement then click on next then it will turn to the next installation step here default instance is selected so we can click on named instance because we are using some uh, custom mode and we can name it as 2019 because once you download some other version you will get confused like which version is 2019 or some lower version if you need to install again then you will get confused you can name your instance as 2019 so click next these are the services just click next here configuration services we are using mixed mode authentication so we can check mark the mixed mode authentication we can type in our password I just type in my password to log into our server. So this is the SQL server. We can add the user. This is the administrator for login to the SQL. Then click on next. And here uh, we can also in analysis services we can add the user. This is a summary. Directly click on install. So it is installing. So the SQL server is here in the installation is completed and then just click on close so our SQL is downloaded but SQL server management studio over that is not there in my system so I need to directly click on install SQL server management studio it will directly link to the site we can directly click on SSMS so for that 18.9.1 version I am using so once you are installing you can check for the version directly click on it it will ask for the location and uh, this is the location where it will get installed you can change or we go with the default one then click on install it will install SQL Server Management Studio will get installed it will take a little bit time so yes our SQL Server Management Studio is installed. Now just we have let's let's log into our system. See SQL Server Management Studio opened. Here 
here we have to select server name i have only one sql server 2019 so we can put in dot slash sql sql server name we have put in as 2019 and click ok it will get installed it will get open another way to login is from the drop down click on database engine from drop down browse for the sql install server we have only one 2019 server installed we can select that click on ok and then click on connect it will directly connect with another <coughs> login with mixed mode earlier we have select the sql as an windows authentication now we are selecting sql server authentication you have to put in the login that we have selected and we have to type in the password so this is how we can log in using mixed mode so using this we can install and log into sql server 2019 developer edition so thanks for watching and do like share and subscribe the video for more updates